Jacqueline Rinksmeyer with the Greater Medina Chamber of Commerce. And we're here today with our workers' comp partner, Don Hicks from Shakely. Yes, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. As we've talked about, we're going to try to bring these informational videos to you monthly. And this month's topic is focusing on safety. Yes. So I have some questions here I'd like to run through with okay, you. Okay, sure. Um, and the first being the general, like, why is workplace safety so important to business? Yes. So last week, or I'm sorry, last month, we talked about workers' comp. So mm -hmm. safety complements workers' comp. And it's important to businesses because when in, when a worker is injured, it can impact productivity. Sure. That injured worker is out of work. Um, we see that it has an impact on morale of the organization. When one worker or multiple workers are injured, it can have an impact on the company's reputation. Mm -hmm. um, and there's three things that I like to talk about is when a, when a worker is injured, it impacts the family. Mm -hmm. It impacts the financials of that worker because they can no longer work the job that they were doing. Right. Um, so it has a you know tremendous impact on the overall employee, injured worker, and the organization. You know, I was looking at some studies um, yesterday, mm -hmm. and for example, OSHA, OSHA yep. is seeing an increase of eye injuries, really, retina detachments, when employees are lifting more than thirty pounds over a consistent amount of time. Really? So the exertion from lifting That's is exactly up. right. And it, okay. and it plays into you know, the demographics, their age, how long they've been lifting. Okay. So a lot of things that companies really don't think about sure. that their employees can get injured. So yes, it has an impact to the bottom line. Okay. So. And those are the type of things that Shakely helps share with their their partner companies, correct? Those that informational is, things about you need to be aware of and this is the most recent statistics that are happening and things like that. That's correct. Uh, Shakely has a specialty and a specialty division within mm -hmm. Shakely where we specialize and help companies with all other safety needs. Perfect. So. Perfect. So if a company is doing safety trainings in house today, what is the benefit of outsourcing that activity to a company like Shakely? Yes. So we see that a lot and there's nothing wrong with that. That's sure. actually good. So the more safety that a company does, the better, the better. The yeah. better. Absolutely. But one of the challenges with that is a lot of em employers, mm -hmm. particularly smaller businesses or medium sized businesses, their employees are wor wearing multiple hats. They're Absolutely. doing different jobs. So saving that, that time mm -hmm. that they can spend on revenue producing activities and they can outsource that to experts like a Shakely mm -hmm. has a benefit and has a business benefit and a benefit to the, to the bottom line. Sure. Also, if you're doing some of that training in house, it's hard to keep up with all of the regulations and updates and mm -hmm. OSHA requirements and so forth. So to have a partner like Shakely through the chamber, it just helps augment and upgrade their safety trainings that they may be doing today. Sure, so. it's an enhancement. It's not necessarily that they're doing anything wrong. It's just you can bring That's a correct. little bit more to that safety suite. That's exactly okay. right. right. And you actually touched on it a little bit in that response, but my next question yes. was um, in terms of safety, what type of impact does that have on a company's bottom line? Yes. Um, so again, last month we talked about workers' comp. Mm -hmm. So when injuries are, occur, um, it could have an impact on workers' comp premiums. Sure. So it's a direct impact on, on your operating costs, your operating expenses. As we also talked about, you know, losing a worker, that, a worker, that lost productivity mm -hmm. can have an impact on the business. Losing right. s that skill and maybe another worker has to do double duty, that has an impact over the, over the uh, entire organization. Sure. So there's a financial impact and a cultural impact when an injury takes place. Now, right. safety is one of those things, you try to prevent things. You can't prevent everything. And that's right. not what we're suggesting. Some right. things are going to happen, right. but it's those that constant communication, that awareness, mm -hmm. and making sure you're up to date on, on all of the um, the laws and regulations is important. Right. So, yeah. And you're doing a great job of leading me through um, my, my questions. Okay. My next one is about what are some of the ways a business can prevent injuries from happening in the workplace? Yes. And again, injuries could happen depending on the Life industry. Life happens, right? That's exactly right. But the more that you are communicating to the employees of what they should be aware of, mm -hmm. awareness is everything. Okay. Um, taking a look at your hiring process, you know, when, when, comp when an employee joins your organization, making sure that they are trained okay. on what their job responsibilities are, having very clear communication as far as job descriptions, making sure you have the right equipment, the right safeguards. So just being aware of all of the regulations, constant communication, 
um, throughout the year, throughout the month, throughout the week, mm -hmm. uh, we see a trend in just preventing injuries and making that awareness um, sure. available to your to your organization. Yeah. So. And finally, if we have caught somebody's attention and they'd like to know more about how they talk to you um, in regards to bringing a program like this into their, their business, how do you recommend they proceed? Yes, so one of the things, just contact me through, okay. through the chamber. We'd be more than happy to have a consultation with you. Okay. One of the things that we recommend that a company looks at when they're really looking at their safety culture is mm -hmm. maybe doing a risk assessment. Okay. You know, having someone like Shakely, this is something that we do where we can come in, do an assessment, um, let you know about things that may need some improvement, things that you're doing well and things that you may not be aware of. Mm -hmm. So doing an overall risk assess assessment really helps as well. So contact me through the chamber and be more than happy to have that discussion. So. Okay. And finally, uh, when you're talking about risk assessment for companies, when they have you come in, there's no consequence for things that you find wrong, correct? It's just you're advising them on how to correct it. It's not like you're going to turn them in. Great to, point. Okay. Yes, no, no. Okay. It's not we're going to report them or anything. Right. It is more for of a one-on-one -on -one independent consultation and say, here are the things that you may need to prove upon. Here are the things that you may not be aware of. Sure. And here are the things that you're doing well. Good. So it is just between us and the, and the business. So Perfect. very good Perfect. question. So. Well, Don, thank you so much for your time today. Sure. And for our viewers, I'll remind you that all of Don's information can be found on our website, along with information um, that talks more about Shakely too. And remember, when you reach out to Don, it is an obligation-free conversation as we partner with uh, companies like Shakely, we do it on behalf of our members so that they can get the information they need to be the best possible company they can be. So thank you for tuning in today and we'll see you next month. Thank you. Thanks, Tom.